Anglesey has been chosen to host the UK's first small nuclear reactors, which are smaller and quicker to build than a traditional nuclear power station. The government says it will help power the equivalent of around 3 million homes. Well, three reactors will be housed on the old Welva nuclear power station, which shut down some 10 years ago. Here's more from our Wales correspondent, Hal Griffith. In a remote corner of the country, a key part of the UK's nuclear past and future. When it was built in the 1960s, the Wilver power station promised decades of energy and employment in an area otherwise dependent on agriculture and tourism. When it was finally shut down a decade ago, it left a big gap in the local economy and in the UK's energy mix. This is, according to the UK government, what will help take its place. The Rolls-Royce small modular reactors can be built as a kit of parts and assembled on site, with the aim of supplying the national grid by the mid-2030s. It would be huge for the island, um, for the island's economy. Um, since the closure of the current nuclear power station, we've lost several big industrial uh, sites, the Anglesey Aluminium plant, as well as several factories. So we are seeing young people leave the island. 900 jobs at Wilva would mean young people could, if they wish, stay on the island. They would then bring up their families on the island. It's transformative for the island. Work on the Wilva site in Anglesey is due to start next year. To begin, three small modular reactors will be built but Great British Energy Nuclear says the site could potentially host up to eight. The first reactors are expected to deliver power for the equivalent of three million homes. Figures from the Welsh Government show that in 2023, there were nearly 1.5 million residential dwellings in the country. Small reactors should be quicker and less expensive to construct than traditional large ones, like that being built at Hinkley Point C in Somerset. At the moment, only 13% of the UK's energy comes from nuclear. The aim is to treble global capacity by 2050. Small reactors can help to do this and, it's claimed, eventually bring down energy prices. Today's announcement hasn't been welcomed universally. Some on Anglesey have opposed nuclear power here for decades and question whether this really is a new dawn. Howell Griffith, BBC News.